Today's Talk of the Town is sponsored by Gatlinburg. It's now time for Talk of the Town. And today we're talking about our beautiful neighbor to the south, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, it's one of our favorite places to go really any time of the year. But today we're joined by Chelsea Trott, the Public Relations Manager of Visit Gatlinburg. Uh, Chelsea, you're here to talk about the fall in Gatlinburg. Hi, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to talk about fall colors with you guys today. So the fall is probably one of your most popular times there in Gatlinburg. Tell us what visitors can expect when they visit Gatlinburg in the fall. You know, it is, and with good reason. We recently just were recognized nationally by USA Today as one of the best places to visit for fall. And I think when you come, you definitely will see why that is. And I'm a little biased. Of course. <laughs> but it really is. So, of course, it is so beautiful. I mean, we are just blanketed by the reds, the oranges, the yellows of fall in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And of course, Gatlinburg is just nestled right there in the middle of it all. And when, you know, one of the really fun and unique things about Gatlinburg is we have so many unique attractions that you can go up high <laughs> and get those bird's eye views and really see those beautiful fall colors in Gatlinburg. You know, we have the Gatlinburg Sky Bridge, Ana Vista Tower, the Ober Mountain Aerial Tramway, so many classic ways to really just take in those beautiful fall colors and really just the fall season with your friends and your family. Yeah, it's such an awesome place to go. Families love to go there. Couples love to go there. Friends love to go there because in addition to all the foil, uh, fall foliage you have going on. You have beautiful shopping and dining and lodging and you have a lot of festivals going on too, right? Talk about some of the fall festivals you have going on. Yeah, of course, we have a full slate of events. And so, of course, starting off is the Smoky Mountain Harvest Festival. And so we're kind of in in the, in the weeds of that right now. And it's so beautiful. So all of our local businesses and area attractions, they really deck out their storefronts in autumn decor. And, you know, just lining the parkway, we have 3D life-size scarecrow people, perfect for an Instagramable opportunity. I have been guilty of grabbing a selfie or two. <laughs> <laughs> They're super cute. So we have that, and then of course coming up, we have an event for the foodies, and I don't know about you guys, but when I think of fall, I think of good food. Um, you know, and so coming up, we have our Gatlinburg Chili Cook-Off on November the 9th, and we're so excited about that. Um, and so of course, just purchase your ticket online, and when you go in, you can just go around and sample all the different chilies, and you know, and they're all homemade by local vendors, and they're everything from traditional chili to the most wild and adventurous chili that you've ever had. So yes. you can go through and try, yeah, so much fun. <laughs> so you can go through and try those. We'll have live music by an Eagles tribute band. And then one of the most exciting parts of the night is we really transition from the fall season to the winter at that event. And so we literally count down five, four, three, two, one, right into Gatlinburg Winter Magic Celebration. And at the kickoff, when we hit zero, all the lights come on in Gatlinburg, and there's over one million LED twinkle lights that are just you know, beautifully set all throughout town. And then this year, one of the exciting things is we have brand new light displays that are situated all throughout town, the Great Smoky Mount, Mountain Arts and Crafts community. Um, you know, all all beautiful things of Gatlinburg. And it's just an amazing experience to go through. And we have the self-guided um, tour of those lights. And so you can go through with your family and get those Instagramable opportunities or just really just get into the holiday spirit, you know, celebrate fall and then swing right into the winter. So it's really exciting stuff. It really is. My family has vacationed there in Gatlinburg ever since I can remember. And it's such a wonderful thing because it literally has something for everybody. So you have the outdoor activities. Talk to us about that new sky park because I have not visited that yet. Yes. So it is home to America's longest pedestrian cable bridge. And so right now with the beautiful fall colors, it is just absolutely breathtaking. You go up there, you're 500 feet above Gatlinburg. You can look out the downtown, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and just really take in those fall colors. But if you can't come in the fall, there are you know plenty of ways to enjoy the Sky Park or Anakista or Ober Mountain in the winter season as well. I mean, Sky Park does their um, tunnel of lights throughout the winter. So you can walk through 300 feet of just beautiful Christmas lights. Um, or like I said, go to any of our area attractions or just the parkway to vis you know, visit and have that kind of hallmark moment, if you will, with your friends and family. Well, there are so many things to do. What do you advise people to do to kind of sift through all the activities? Where should they go and look for these things? Yeah, so I would definitely recommend stopping by Gatlinburg.com. We have everything to do on there. We have an itineraries page, um, you know, attractions, shopping. So you can go through there, see what you like, build your trip and come for a great stay. Okay, well, wonderful. Thank you, Chelsea, for giving us a little highlight of what is going on this fall there in Gatlinburg. We hope to see you soon. Yeah, thank you for having me. And all of
the information for Visit, Visit Gatlinburg is up on the screen. Today's Talk of the Town was sponsored by Gatlinburg.